when I click on a model, on each model, I have a pop-up down here, which we call the process view. In the process view, in the middle, I will see the actual process view of the model currently selected. If I select the another model like the expander, I will see the expander here and high pass filter and so on. So in the process view, I have a renaming column here that I can enter any name I want. Let's say input one, then I press enter and I have that name on the port. Other than that, I have a, a fader, an input fader over here. You can apply gain attenuation to the input signal. And uh, other than that, we have a pre and post switch, which gives you um, two ways of gain staging. Uh, one will be pre uh, process, and the other one will be post process pre matrix. So Currently, if I move a fader here, or the measurements will be on the actual input port. And once I hit post, I switch to post over here. It actually gives me the fader of the game pre-matrix post-processing over here. I can control it from here and from here as well. By the way, clicking on control and... Uh, left clicking on the mouse uh, on each of the controls over here will reset it to default. I'm clicking a uh, left mouse and a control modifier key and there you go it goes to zero it goes to zero again to default. So back to the channel strip so we have pre and post we have a mute uh, function, phase invert, a selection between line, uh, dynamic microphone, and 48 volts for condenser microphones. Mm -hmm.